What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Catching Colorado. Now, this episode is going to be a little bit different, and I'm actually going to be doing a bit of a series on this. Um, but I have decided to invest in sleeping arrangements while I'm on different trips. So usually I'm paying for a hotel, staying in a cold tent, um, sleeping in the truck, or just getting up super early to drive to a spot. And I'm over it. At this point, I really, really, really want to free myself from having to figure out the sleeping arrangements. So what I've done is I have bought a 1989 truck camper. It is called a scamper. This thing was literally made the year I was born. And it is in great shape. I just bought it from a lady in Colorado. It's perfectly fits in my truck, minus it needs a little bit of an elevation rise, which I'm working on getting welded. And then the exterior, uh, it could use a coat of paint, but it's actually in pretty good shape. And all of the canvas is in really good shape. When I first talked to her about buying this, she was not aware that any of the electrical worked or the heater or the water pump, which is like kind of why you buy a truck camper. So I found that interesting, but she um, mostly camped in the summer and used it as like a hard sided tent. So just prote protection from the elements. Here's the front of it. Um, and so I went up and took a look at it and uh, decided to end up buying it. So. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing so far, please click the subscribe button down below so you get notified when I post. And if you like the video, it'll help others find it. Thanks, let's get back into it. Um, my plans for renovation are a few things. You know, the cushions and all of the uh, connectors and adapters. I mean, things are just looking kind of old on this. So I'm gonna do what I can to just update this unit make it look a little bit better, a little bit sharper, um, outfit it with a few things that I think can be helpful, uh, like onboard chargers, maybe a solar panel at some point. Um, but for the most part, I'm gonna leave it the way that it is. I'm not going on super long trips. I'm just going on trips where I need a bed and some warmth. So the heater and the fact that this has a big cab over bed here is gonna make it really nice for all those trips. So. First things first, I kind of ripped everything out of the camper. At least things that like I didn't, didn't want to deal with. So like all the cabinets are right over there. And then like the ice box and the cushions and the windows coverings, um, as well as the little headboard that prevents you from smacking your head on the door on the way out. Um, just tidying things up. Uh, this light didn't work. I was able to get it to work. I just went over to AutoZone and um, bought a bulb, um, but everything seemed to be working fine. There's a little cover here that I've ordered. Uh, and then this is a handle that you can actually grab onto, help you get up into the truck. Um, but inside here, you can see that I've already done some work actually. I am currently priming the camper. Um, the interior, I wanted something a little bit lighter. The wood grain just wasn't doing it for me. So I wanted to lighten it up, make it a little bit more airy. So in my last house, I painted cabinets and I did it this same method and it worked out really well. So I've decided to come in here and do the exact same thing to make sure this lasts a long time. So first step is to clean all of the cabinetry with a TSP cleaner. Um, you can find TSP pretty much any hardware store. You just mix it with water in a spray bottle. It really helps get the grime off and prep it for a primer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prime this all around. This is all the old wood paneling. You could probably paint right over it, but with this stuff, I think it's probably worth the prime before the paint. So right now it looks like, from what I can tell, painted over here earlier, from what I can tell, I think one coat of primer is gonna be enough for this, um, but maybe two coats. Just kind of depends on the areas, I guess. I can always go back and re-hit it with more paint down the road, but 
the primer layer is the most important. So I may do two layers, we'll see. Um, but it's feeling pretty good. It's feeling um, pretty bondable at this point. So um, as you can see, I've gotten half the camper uh, primed, minus above the bed. I wanna be careful with that um, because it's not on a truck. So I just wanna make sure that when I get up there, it doesn't you know, lean forward or tilt forward. Um, and then on this side, um, I'm just gonna start getting ready to paint. I'm gonna try to get all the brown out of here. Lots of brown everything, brown outlets and brown window coverings and brown, brown, brown. So the goal is to remove the brown, make it white and give it a little bit more life in here. So that is what I'm working on as we speak. I also picked up this Pergo Outlast flooring now this is a waterproof laminate flooring and it has a two millimeter underlayment on it. So this will actually allow me to not even have to put an underlayment down and I can just lay this floor. Um, it's scratch resistant, stain resistant, dent resistant, whole bunch of different things. Um, and you can wet mop it. So this laminate flooring is gonna be great. Pergo is a little bit of the higher end brand and I don't need very much of it. Um, the inside of this thing is basically four feet wide. And then if I were to go all the way to the front, that would be just roughly six, there are 79 inches or so. Um, so just over six feet. Um, but I don't have to go quite that far. I've only got like five feet. So this whole space right here is about 20 square feet. Um, probably less actually. Um, we got four foot by five, now about 20. So. Um, this box right here says that it will do uh, 19 square feet. So I think that's just gonna get us done, we'll see. Maybe we need uh, one more box or a few more pieces. But uh, either way, might not be bad to have some backup. So anyway, that is what I'm getting into. This is my new project. I plan on doing just a little bit of videos on it, you know, showing how I've cleaned it up. Um, what things work, what doesn't work, how I fix things. The heater wasn't working when I got it. I changed out the blower motor in the heater and now it works perfect. We got hot air, baby. Needed a new motor. We got hot air. It's hot coming out of here. Can't even put your hand near it. Oh yeah. So that's great. Um, and then it just needs some tidying up. Uh, gotta clean up some of the electrical connections, um, make sure that I can charge this while I'm driving and when I get home and plug it into AC power. Get some sort of meter that lets me know how much battery power I have left. That's gonna be super important. I also need to add a door to the propane here. This uh, usually is like a door here. Looks like it might've flown out at some point. So I need to put a little bit of a door on here and reattach that. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I am kicking on this project. I built this nice cart down here, super steady, huge wheels. It rolls around my garage great. And that'll allow me to work on this thing in a safe environment um, without worrying about it tipping or having to put it on stands and that sort of deal. So, so that's basically it. This is my new truck camper. I am going to start doing a bunch of renovation on it. Hopefully it won't take me too, too long, but I'll take you guys along for the ride. There's a couple of these that you can see online. Um, lots of other people have done similar stuff. I'm gonna take some information from theirs and then also just some from my own knowledge and try to put something together that's pretty cool here. This is gonna be a fun little project. I don't suspect this is gonna be done real quickly, but that's okay. Everything great, takes a little bit of time and I'm happy to spend a little bit more time uh, making sure this thing comes out awesome. So I'm gonna start painting the other side and we'll take you along for the ride. All right, I got the other side done, a lot of primer all over not perfect in terms of like covering up the wood grain but it looks a heck of a lot better than it did that's for sure so i'm very excited about how light it is in here how bright 
it looks a little bit more roomy because it's not so dark. So I like that a lot. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, I gotta do this little section back here. It's gonna be kind of difficult to get behind those pipes. Um, not exactly sure how that's gonna go. So I'll have to see what I can do with that. Might have to lower the roof a little bit and then hit it with the paintbrush. Um, so I gotta get that section. And then outside of that, I think I'm pretty close to done. I also have to pull this power inverter but I was using it for the lights, so I didn't want to pull it out while it was on. I think that's gonna wrap it up for the day. I will catch you guys in the next video. Um, hopefully that'll be after the, the painting has been done and then we start working on some of the finishing. I think we're gonna backsplash around here. Gonna try to get some sort of vinyl to make this look a little bit cleaner, nicer, more like marble um, or like a quartz. So I just need to clean this up and then I'll take out the sink I will take out the stove. I'm gonna replace this with something that's a little bit more fancy uh, that you can actually get a, a dish under. And uh, then we should have a completed kitchen space and need a couple batteries and we're on our way. So really excited about the truck camper. Let me know if you guys like these videos or if you're interested in this. If not, I can stop uh, posting them, but I think it's kind of fun. It's kind of interesting to see how uh, it converts into something better. And uh, I love remodel projects. I'm really into it. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time in another episode of Catching Colorado. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more relatable content, you can check out these videos right here. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can stay updated on our next adventures.